We have got one more, uh, one more final speaker. Yep. Um, so we asked you this question about whether or not Alzheimer's disease has an apostrophe without realizing that was actually a philosophical question and there's no right answer. <laughs> I would have aced that great. in my comps. Yeah. Um, so we're giving, we're giving uh, the, and the, well, no, there's no correct answer. But um, the winner is going to be the first person who tweeted us a yes, because most of you tweeted yes, and then uh, the one person who tweeted us a no. So our first winner, who obviously wants to come to Buffy with me, is um, Adam at Skeptical YVR, who says, yes, it's named after someone. Okay. Um, okay, so that's number one. And then our, our other winner is uh, Sally. Sally Taylor at Sally Joy Taylor. Uh, definitely no apostrophe because the medical subject heading in PubMed is Alzheimer disease. Mm. Way to Google that shit, Sally. Well done. Well, why don't we get uh, the, a definitive answer? Cheryl, why don't you come on up and see if you can give a, 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 good, uh, a good enough answer for if uh, Alzheimer's should be apostrophized or not. Okay, so this really is a matter of phil philosophical debate and whether or not the discoverer of a disease uh, should name the disease after them and claim it with an apostrophe. Um, often it's appropriate if it's like Lou Gehrig's disease because that's the, that's the patient, that's the first person that is known to have a particular disease, then it really is theirs. So it's, it's really a matter of debate, it, it, you know, and, and I, I'm fond of telling my students that it actually is a degree of philosophy, it's a doctor of philosophy that we all have. So you got to be prepared for those kinds of questions and you just really never know what's going to pop out. Well, the question that I had is like, is it's not, it's not uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, it's Lou Gehrig's disease, but mm -hmm. the way you pointed out was that because he was the patient, yep. not the discoverer. Yep. Uh, and then it's like, it's not Heimlich's maneuver, it's the Heimlich maneuver because he's the... He's That's the one right. who found it. Yeah. So, yeah. what's that? Jay <laughs> uh, Well, thank you, Cheryl. That was uh, a wonderful answer. I don't know what you're going on about. <laughs>